Look at him. Look at him. Digger. Yep, it's Michelle. Buddy's day just got cocked over. It's 3.11 p.m. It's actually a pretty, pretty day. It's 36 degrees and kind of sunny and, and the snow is already starting to melt. So we're probably going to have another green Christmas, but away she goes. So I am headed back to the village uh, to see somebody I haven't seen in a while. So yeah, we're going to go do that and then we're having dinner actually right here tonight at Zeppi's Pizzeria. Should be good stuff. Uh, it's now, I don't have a watch on, I don't know, it's probably about 10, 10.30. Um, for those of you who don't know, my dad's in for town for Christmas and he's staying at my grandparents' house, so I went over there and hung out with him for a little bit. And we went and did my, my sister's birthday was the second, mine was the 18th. So we did that for a little bit, that was fun. Came back here, had some uh, friggin' cake and whatnot. And Andrew, with his 2005, just put up a video that has inspired me to come out to mine and see what my coolant runs at, my coolant temperature. He replaced his thermostat with one, I think he said 82 Celsius instead of the 79 one. So I am now here, and I'm gonna have to get out and get the last couple digits of my VIN, but I'm gonna play around with this, see what the coolant temperature is. It should be 79. This is an OEM thermostat on this car that was replaced uh, just about a year ago, probably about 11 months. And uh, yeah, we hit 170,000 miles yesterday. So I'm gonna look into this and see what she runs at. We'll do a little drive here, because uh, right now the engine is pretty cold. So, let's see. I think we press and hold this one. I've done this before. It'll bring up the tests. Then I want test 19, which will give me the lock code. Then we have to press this one. Lock on. Do I press it again? All right, then it wants the lock number. Shit, I'll get this. Coolant temperature 33 Celsius. Hopefully that goes away and I don't have to go through that whole thing again when I plug the seatbelt in. Damn it! I am gonna have to do it again. Just was 32, now it's 33, so we'll go for a little blast around the neighborhood and see what that does, 34. All right, 77 seems to be where it's happy. If you let it work a little bit, it'll touch 78. And traction comes on, but, oh, there's 79. That's the first time I've seen 79. It does seem to be happiest right around 77, 78 degrees, which is normal. You know, it's 25 degrees out here right now. It's pretty cold. Um, there's a cool wind. The wind temperature, uh, feels like temperature is, um, what do they say? I think they said 19, so it's pretty bad. But uh, 77, I, so this is normal. This is the normal OEM. I think it's a bare thermostat that I had put in last January of 2012. So. That seems to be fine, but Andrew was talking about how the engine not running at optimal temperature, which it doesn't, unless you're really hammering on the car or it's 85 degrees outside and you got the AC on big tines. Um, the engine not running at temperature can uh, hurt with the carbon buildup as well as the carbon out the exhaust, which has, has always been annoying. So uh, maybe in the future, uh, a good, somewhat affordable actually, if the labor is done by me, which it looks like I'm capable to do that. Uh, a nice modification, change, upgrade, enhancement to the car would be replacing the thermostat with what he used, let the engine run a little bit warmer, thus more efficiently on all grounds. My only problem is that is, with that is, if the engine were better to be run at warmer temperatures, why wouldn't BMW have figured this out, or BMW M, 10, 12 years ago when they were designing this car? Why did they, what made them think, let's make that needle stay at 11.30 and not 12 o'clock? Is it just poor, poor, is it poorly thought out? Or is there a reason for the, that we are overlooking? That's what I don't know. We're at 77 degrees, I'm gonna take the highway home, I'll leave it a little in a lower gear and we'll see if I can get her above 79. All right, she seemed to hover right around 79 Celsius at 75 miles an hour in third gear at about 4,500 RPM. So my coolant thermostat is working beautifully. It's just maybe not the one that I want for this car. 78, 79, it's doing its thing. Let it idle for a minute. Looks like we're at 80. I bet it brings that to 70, other 79, 80. And as you can see, if I put this right in front, that's about as far as that needle will go, period. It doesn't really go further towards middle than that. 
And according to the manual and the Dixit BMW say that as long as it's between those two white dots, that's operating temperature. It can be a little up, it can be a little down, but as long as it's actually warming up, you know, out of the blue and not going into the red, then we're good. And it seems to be doing that, right at 80. Oh, about a minute and a half later, after a couple of revs, I could tell it opened the thermostat. Obviously now it's closed again. We're at 82, sitting idling in the garage. Obviously no intake. It's 23 degrees outside. Once I give it anything, then it opens it up and starts to cool it down a little bit. But uh, the fact that it's not going over 82 is good, and it looks like about 85 would probably be about halfway. I don't know why I'm making a big deal out of this. It doesn't really matter, but I care for some reason. Still feels good. It's been on for a while and it's nice and warm in here. Anyhow, it's 12.35 uh, a.m. I'm going to try to go to bed and actually sleep tonight. i got to get up by about 9.30 tomorrow, so talking to people online a little bit. Look at that. Oh, I could get used to that, except it's probably not going to be the case when I refresh here. Let's see if it is. Whoops. Kind of freaked out Sparrow there. Oh my god, it is. That's like five straight minutes with not an email, so that's, that's awesome. Um... Yeah, I don't really have anything else today to say. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Technically today, holy crap, it's December 24th. So uh, I'm gonna go over there and help the grandparents do some stuff for Christmas tomorrow, uh, which should be great. Not Christmas tomorrow, but I'm going to help them do things for Christmas tomorrow. And then uh, we're gonna be over here tomorrow night, Christmas Eve. I think everybody's coming over at seven, so that should be fun. And then, then what? Then we're gonna be here, and then we're gonna go to bed, and then Christmas is gonna be busy. And then we have five days, so it should be fun. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow on uh, Monday, 24th. Good night.